Hey guys, Mike Hansel with Small Arms Pistol Academy. So this is it. Here's the Shadow Systems MR920, the first shot impressions. Uh, I have actually added my optic. I did add a flashlight to it. I did tear it apart and I did get rid of the grease and lubricate it how I should. Uh, so we're gonna start with the break-in period. And what I'm gonna do is put in my first magazine. Again, I have not shot this. I have no idea how accurate my sights or anything actually are. And I'm not gonna be running the optic right now simply because it's not sighted in. Just gonna be running my iron sights and see how close we can actually get and uh, start breaking in the pistol. Now, the reason I keep saying break in the pistol is for a couple different reasons. Number one is the spring itself needs to be broken in. Also, your guide rod and spring assembly, that spring is really compressed. And once you start shooting that explosion, it's gonna start creating that to break in a little bit. And when you are dealing with a, a slightly more expensive firearm, most of the time their tolerances are a lot tighter of a fit between like your frame and your slide assemblies. So you need to break in or wear that metal in and uh, just let it work itself out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is uh, my goal is to shoot about 100 rounds. The book says 200, but I think if I shoot about 100 rounds through this, we'll be pretty good. I'm not actually gonna shoot all that right now. I just have two magazines with me. Because I am a New York resident, these are 10 round magazines. So you guys get to see the first 20 rounds through this firearm. Again, it is the Shadow Systems MR920. So I did have a miss on that. Again, I have no idea how accurate this actually is. And we're shooting about 15 yards right now. And uh, what I'm shooting at is just uh, one of the A-zone uh, targets right here. So it's actually six inches by 11 inches. So it's not perfect. Uh, that one, I actually threw it down, I believe. But uh, that's why we're out here. It's just kind of shooting, breaking it in. I don't really care if I hit these or not. There's just a bunch of steel over there and I've got a couple of them hung up. So you could see I was actually moving around between one target and another one. Um, and just shooting a little bit. All I'm trying to do is really break this in. So I have, I have zero care if I end up hitting my target. If it, if it hits it, fantastic. If not, again, it doesn't matter. All we want to do is wear that gun in so everything starts aligning itself how it should. All right, we've got two more rounds through here. We haven't had a feeding issue. It is cycling really nice, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the recoil really isn't too bad for this, and I'm not really trying to use that gas pedal or the accelerators on the side for holding it down or anything right now. Again, just trying to run it through. So what I'm gonna go is I actually have a 66% a um, you know, IDPA target down there. So I don't even know how big that actually is, but it's not too big. It's a little bit bigger than what my A zone is. So we're just gonna run two rounds real fast on that. There we go. Perfect. So the gun definitely needs to be adjusted a hair through it, but we didn't have an issue. And that's what I was looking for, is just cycling it through, see how I like it, start making these adjustments. And if you stay tuned, uh, one of the next videos, we're actually gonna be adjusting the optics. So you can learn how to adjust the Holosun 507C right there. And uh, just kind of playing around with it. This is something I like to do with all of my firearms when I first get it. Put a fair amount of lube inside here and just let those pores open up, get that oil actually throughout the metal inside here, heat it up a little bit. That's why I shot as fast as I did. Nothing too crazy. You can see before the last two rounds, I actually like had my finger, I was prepping on the trigger and I kept driving it down. All I was really doing right there is trying to compare where my sights were being aligned and where my optic dot currently is. I have not sighted the, the optic in. So the dot, I turned it on, it is off, but that's okay. I just wanted to see in relation to my target, how far off it was in, you know, in relation to the rear sight, because ultimately that's what we're gonna be playing with when we start getting into that next video. So I was just taking a peek. Hey, if you guys like this type of content, make sure you do click like, subscribe, and uh, share it with your friends. The more people we can get interactive with the page by leaving comments, hitting the likes, and everything for the videos, we're able to actually, you know, kind of battle against YouTube and all the algorithms they set towards the firearm channel, so it does help out. And uh, at the end of the day, shoot straight, enjoy your new toys, have fun, guys.